Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog. This lesson is classifying rational numbers. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Just make sure you click the California link uh, for sixth grade. Okay, here's our question is how can we classify rational numbers? So here's a, an example here. So Alex, Bob, Kendra, and Elizabeth are making um, a, a clay mask in their ceramics class. The four students have to share three blocks of clay. So how much clay will each student receive if they divide the three blocks evenly? Okay, and so they set us up with some squares. So the three blocks of, cake, uh, of clay uh, can be represented by these squares here, and we can use this model to show uh, the part of each block that each friend will receive. Okay, and then they want us to explain. All right, let me slide that up. Okay, so now we're going to divide these squares into four equal pieces and then write each person's first initial uh, on a piece uh, of each square, so you can you can you know cut them up into four pieces like this. But I think it's easier just to go from uh, corner to corner and then corner to corner. So it, it cuts it up into four little pieces of tri nice little triangles. Okay, and then now we're going to uh, put the initials. We're going to put A in uh, in each one of these. So an A goes here, an A goes here, an A goes here because we're take this is our three blocks of clay and there's four uh, people that are doing this. So then we'll put a B, so we'll do a B, 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 and then we'll do a K for Kendra and an E for Elizabeth. So there they are right there. Okay, now, um, uh, so each uh, piece of one square is equal to what fraction of the block of, K, of clay? Okay, well, so Alex is getting one of these four pieces, so that would be one-fourth right there, okay? And then so now we're going to ex uh, explain to how to arrange the pieces uh, to model the amount of clay each person gets and sketch the model. Okay, and they gave us a hint right here. They started doing one for Alex. So they, they uh, since there's four uh, kids, um, uh, students getting clay, here's their four blocks right here. But they're not getting the whole block right here because Alex is getting this piece, this piece, and this piece right here. So that's what these are right here. So we'll do the same thing for Bob. We'll take this piece, this piece, and this piece and put it in that square right there. Okay, so we'll just arrange each person's uh, pieces in each square. Okay, so there's Bob right there. And then we'll do the same thing for Kendra. She gets three pieces. And then Elizabeth also gets three pieces right there. Okay, let's slide that up. So now what fraction of the square does each person's piece cover? And explain. Okay, so it, let's just look at Alex, for example. So there's four pieces here, but Alex only gets three of them. And same with uh, Bob and Kendra and Elizabeth. So each person is going to get three-fourths of a square right there. So there's room for four pieces in each square, but each person only has three of the four pieces or three-fourths of the square covered. So how much clay will each person receive? They will receive three-fourths of the block of clay. Okay. So how does situation uh, represent division? All right, well, we divided the three blocks of clay equally among the four students, and that just gave us three divided by four, which was three-fourths. All right, so three divided by four can be written as a fraction, three-fourths right there. So how are the dividend and the divisor of, of a division expression related to the parts of the fraction? We'll answer this one second here. Well, let's remind ourselves what uh, dividend and divisor and the quotient are. So here's an example, 40 divided by eight. The 40 is the dividend, so up here, that's the three. The three is the dividend right here. The eight is the divisor, so the four here is the divisor. And the quotient is our answer, so 40 divided by eight equals 5. 5 is the quotient right there. All right, so so how is this 3 related to this? Well, 3, which is uh, the dividend right here, the dividend ends up being our numerator, and, uh, the di uh, uh, and the divisor is our denominator right here. Okay, so this is, um, uh, this is our numerator, and this is our denominator right here, and I think that's what they're asking right there. So how could we represent uh, the division of a fraction if five people shared two blocks? Well, that would be um, here it was uh, 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 four people sharing three blocks right here, so it gave us three-fourths right here. So if five people are sharing two blocks, that's going to give us two-fifths. If six people share five blocks, that's going to give us five-sixths, okay? Easy enough. All right, so a rational number, you guys, that's what this uh, lesson is about, is any number that can be written as a fraction, A over B, okay, where A and B are both integers, 
and uh, you can never have zero in the denominator. So whenever you have a fraction, they'll always give you this little um, uh, extra rule. You can't have zero in the denominator. So we're going to change all of these numbers here to, to look like a fraction, um, uh, A over B. Okay, so here's a mixed number. Do you guys remember how to change mixed numbers into a fraction? We just do this uh, 5 times 3 is 15, and then 15 plus 2 is 17. That's our new numerator. So 3 and 2 fifths is 17 fifths. Okay, remember doing that? 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So, so that's 17 fifths. Okay, now we'd look at this one, 0 0.6. The 6 is in the tenths position. So it's uh, 6 tenths. And then so as a fraction is 6 tenths. Now you can reduce it to 3 fifths if you wanted to. But he just said write it as a fraction. And so there it is, 6 tenths. Okay, 34. Any number can be represented over 1. So 34 is 34 over 1. And similarly, negative 7 is negative 7 over 1. All right, let's do the same with these guys right here, okay? Negative 15 is negative 15 over 1. This is the tenths spot. This is the hundredth spot. So this is said to be 31 hundredths right there. So 31 hundredths, there it is as a fraction, okay? 9 times uh, 4 is 36. 36 plus 5 is 41. So that gives us 41 ninths. The denominator stays the same. 62 over 1 for that guy right there, okay? All right, so now we have these things that are called Venn diagrams. Venn diagram is a visual representation uh, shown with circular regions uh, that sometimes overlap or sometimes partially overlap or they don't overlap. So they're used to show how uh, the relationship between groups. So we have uh, these groups here. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, and all the way up to infinity. Integers are all the whole numbers and all the opposites, the negatives. Rational numbers are any fractions right there. So a Venn diagram says, here's a Venn diagram that says all whole numbers are integers and all integers are rational numbers. So if a number is a whole number, it's in the circle of an integer and a rational number. If it's in this one, then it's an integer, but not a whole number, but it's a rational number, and so on. So, so this little region right here says um, uh, rational numbers uh, include the integers and the whole numbers right here. So uh, these rational numbers include all of these numbers right here, okay? And then uh, integers, the integers include the whole numbers, but they don't include the rational numbers, okay? The rational numbers are the fractions and the decimals, okay? All right, so now it says uh, place each number in the Venn diagram, then indicate which set or sets each number belongs to. Okay, is 75, does that belong in the whole numbers here? Yes, it does. So it's a whole number, it's an integer, it's a rational number. So it goes right there, okay? Negative 3, is it a whole number? No, but it is an integer, so it's going to go in here. So since it's in this circle, it's also in the circle of a rational number. So uh, it's an integer and a rational number. Okay, this is a fraction, so that's a rational number. And this is a, uh, a decimal, which is 35 hundredths, so that's also a rational number right there. Okay. And there they are. Okay, so uh, describe how Venn diagrams model the relationship between rational numbers, integers, and whole numbers. Okay, well this uh, Venn diagram says that all whole numbers are in the integer circle and also in the rational number circle. So a whole number is an integer is a rational number. All integers are rational numbers, but some integers are not whole numbers. So like this integer right here is not in the circle of a whole number, so it's not a whole number right there. Okay, some rational numbers are not integers, like this rational number 3 fourths is not in the circle of integers or whole numbers, okay? But this whole number is a integer and it's a it's also a rational number, so, okay? All right, hope that made sense right there. All right, so here, here's a Venn diagram that shows the sets of, and subsets of numbers. So we're going to place the numbers uh, 1 to 20. Whoops, I didn't want to do that yet. We'll get to that in just a second, <laughs> sorry. We'll place the numbers 1 to 20. Uh, in this Venn diagram, okay? And so all whole numbers 1 to 20, so that's encased in this big set right here. Okay, this uh, circle says all odd numbers, this circle says multiples of 5, and this circle says the ones that are both of them. Well, let's do the multiples of 5, that's easy. So 5 will go in here, uh, 10 will go in here, uh, 15 and 20. Okay, now are any of these numbers odd? Yeah, this number is odd, so this one has to go into the both circle right here, and this number is odd, okay? And then let's put all the rest of the odd numbers over here. So 1 will go over here, 
three will go over here. Uh, seven will go over here. Make sure I don't miss any. Nine will go over here. Eleven will go over here. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, we got a couple more over here. Seventeen and 19 okay so all these leftover even numbers are left in the in the set of whole numbers that are neither odd numbers or multiples of five all right there's good old fred and hope that made sense you guys take care